Welcome to Firearms of America. Today we are finally getting into the world of gas masks. Yes, and the very first gas mask review on this channel is going to be of this Mira CM7M. Excellent, excellent choice whenever it comes to gas masks, especially if you want something that actually works, not your surplus garbage from eBay or right, that doesn't even feel. And at the same time, you're just not there yet to spend you know, the coin on something that is like even M50. That one you're looking like at least 700 bucks to spend. This, you can actually pick up affordable price of just around 200 bucks and I'll put the links um, in the description below for this mask and for Mira website in general. Okay, so let's start this review with the actual test. And for this test, we found the box truck and luckily we were able to find this, which is the civilian friendly version of the tear gas CS gas well meaning that it is civilian friendly for sale to civilians not like civilian friendly like you're throwing a tear gas grenade at them and it doesn't do anything it does all right mirrors first <laughs> then i got my m50 so i was wearing mira and my friends, they were both wearing M50s. I have to say, at least from what I have currently, the filters in my M50, the airflow felt really good in uh, this one. Even with just one. All right, are we ready to roll? Let's do it. Your cheeks are inside. We're keeping that in here, right? What is that? Cheek one's enough? Just keep that one. Just keep that one. So you want to start throwing it in and make it in? So just pressing it or throwing it in? Just press it and then pop. And it went right back. <laughs> yeah, so keep in mind, if you're using these as grenades, then gonna roll around because it's great. Honestly at this point like we're not even realizing how bad it is. How's the breathing? I mean just not breathing this good. This is not enough for anything. <laughs> so my friend decided to find out. And of course, this guy is tough as nails. <laughs> so it works, huh? My, uh, my neck burns a little bit. My whole face burns. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. Kind of spicy. Your nose spicy? Yeah. You feel like you such a strong face a little bit? I feel my neck is burning, but... Breathe. I can breathe. Alright. Let's get a test. Dude. Like, I'm not, I'm not realizing how bad he got it just yet. Because I didn't take off my mask yet. And I decided, you know, it's time for me to find out what it is. And immediately I realized how tough <laughs> my friend was. Because I don't think I would have stayed inside. No way. Okay, so as you can see, the test was successful. Let's start talking about this gas mask right here. So what are the... Uh, criteria that you're looking for whenever it comes to you know getting a good gas mask well obviously the seal is one of the most important things you want to make sure that when you're putting it on your face it takes the least amount of time to get the proper seal so that you're good to go you're ready to go you want to make sure that it accepts most popular filter filtration systems that are out there and this is a 40 millimeter which is the most common 
size whenever it comes to the gas mask filter. And here I have the, what is the MBC77, MBC77 SOF filter which is again probably if you're if you're just now getting into the gas masks this is probably the filter I would recommend okay speaking of the filters here as you can see you can have one filter you can have two filters at the same time because there are ports on both sides advantage of having two filters would be better airflow probably a little bit of a longer use whenever it comes to the filter which typically one filter should last you about depending on the, how bad the contamination is and depending on how long of a time you spend in the contaminated zone probably around 20 to 40 minutes depending on what that zone is contaminated with here's another thing while you are replacing the filters you don't have to cut your airflow you plug in the second one and then you remove the other one so now you don't have to basically leave yourself without the airflow also you have a speaking diagram which does I mean you already noticed it in the uh, in the box track test that we did but I'm gonna demonstrate it just again one more time you can hear me without any problems and this is uh, honestly very very impressive even an Avon M50 you really can't can't communicate like this you really do need to get uh, an amplifier an external amplifier there's another advantage of having the filter that is on both sides with one filter now it does not restrict basically getting your cheek and acquiring the target with your rifle or AR pistol or whatever you're using now whenever it comes to the masks putting them on and taking them off you have five points with the adjustable straps very easy to adjust mesh on the back is very comfortable and as you can see it is vented so it gives you a decent breathability obviously inside of the gas mask itself your face is gonna probably be sweating a little bit but to cool you down what you can do is you can use this water over here system and uh, actually this particular mask it does come with uh, additional canteen but it will also work with your what is it i think camel pack that is a very popular uh water bladder system that you implement as part of your uh backpack or, or your plate carrier which also will work with this you want to make sure that everything works with everything and that's another thing with the filters here 40 millimeter filters because they're so popular most of the gas masks use the 40 millimeter filters whenever it comes to filters you do have a huge variety uh, of filters but like i said if you are just now getting into the gas mask and you don't want to like do your research on trying to find a better best filter or, or whatever nbc 77 that's probably your best bet okay so whenever it comes to the visors as you can see in in in, in this particular gas mask mirror decided to implement two separate uh, visors which is uh, a little bit more restricting on the field of view especially compared to a, a gas mask like M50 and, and because I mentioned M50 so much let me just show you and uh, if you're interested I will do the separate review of the M50 and I'll also do a separate comparison between the two gas masks because I think it might be pretty informative but as you can see this visor here is uh, just a single visor compared to this one too so a little bit of restriction on the field of view but again uh, I think that kind of uh, makes it up because with this is much more much more comfortable and more intuitive if you are operating with a firearm so let me know in the comments below guys what do you think about this review what do you think about the gas mask and what do you think about this right here uh, more tests obviously will be uh, coming to this channel more reviews will be coming to this channel so make sure uh, to subscribe thank you very much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video